This is a four digit seven segment display on a combination number board thing. It started off with only one button and then I wanted to be able to change the uh, the combination number and then I wanted to display LEDs to show the status of what, you know, whether it was locked or unlocked. And I ran out of pins on the Uno. So I dug out Mega and started using that. And then I thought, well, why not make it wireless with an NRF and you know, send the signal to something else. And in this case, we're you know, switching a servo halfway around from lock to unlock, etc., etc. Um, now, it's quite simple in operation. We have a combination number. At the moment, it, I think it's set up as 1111. Once we put all of those in, uh, it says open, the green lights come on, and a little message also says open. And after a set period of time, the, the LEDs go to red and it, it locks. So we do it again. This time we will change the combination number, uh, which you can only do if you type in the right one in the first place. Now it's gone off, we can click that. Now we can change it to say to three, four, and five. Okay, so it's done, and now it goes into locked. So if we go back to where we were, on our 1111, and type that in, it says failed, basically, just there's not enough characters to say failed. But if we try our two, three, I don't know why I'm counting. And hey presto, it opens, it stays open for the, uh, the amount of time it says in the code and then it automatically locks again. If you um, turn your Arduino off or refresh the, uh, the code on the, on the Mega itself, it will retain the passcode, so don't forget it, otherwise you've got to go in the code and then fudge it to yeah, to to get around that, but it it stores the combination number code in the EE prom. There is a default to start with, which is one 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 one, but once you've actually entered a number, it stores that and just overrides the one 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 one. 